so did she hear my very logical, reasonable fear of my own butthole? Is she familiar so, with this? So I'm not entirely sure if you know what a urologist is, but that is the wrong hole. Isn't that the hole? <laughs> no. Pee hole. Let's go home. Whether you're looking to consult a dermatologist, need a routine checkup, or have a specific health concern, ZocDoc is the way to go. It's redefining how we manage our healthcare appointments. Make sure to download the ZocDoc app and experience this healthcare game changer for yourself. Your health deserves the best, and with ZocDoc, it's just a few taps away. Go to ZocDoc.com wild and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash wild, ZocDoc dot com slash wild. Five, four, three, two. We're counting down. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Confetti cannon. Ooh, is that our confetti budget? Yeah, it was confetti budget right there. No, no, that was confetti cleanup budget, which is zero dollars. Honestly, let's see if our editor knows how to put the and and if you could put the cheapest, nastiest, grossest, fakest looking confetti, confetti cannon uh-huh, uh-huh. effect right here. <laughs> Happy New Year, Tilly's. That was for you. And if you see nothing, that's okay. <laughs> it's because our editor did not like their Christmas present. Yet still <laughs> kept in the the, the premise. <laughs> Happy New Year. 2024. 2020. I love being in an even number. You're one of those, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, 100 How do you feel about five though? Um, fives are okay. Yeah, fives are okay. That makes sense. Yeah, fives are okay. But I, you know what though? 31 feels bad. Yeah. I'm turning 31 this year in a- you, Okay. Wait. You just turned 30. What? You just turned 30. Yeah, no, thank God. But you are almost 31. Okay. Hang on. Like, you're not going to be- This is not how girl math works, and I need you to know that. Girl math. Okay, got it. Keep. Um, Go. so 2020, 2024 feels good, but 31 feels bad. Got it. I was just listening to this TikTok the other day about how- <laughs> names and words can be associated by um, like the majority of people with like either like a sharp pointy shape or like a rounder, smoother shape. Welcome back to Wild Till Nine. <laughs> this is an education This one. year is gonna be way different than I last need year. everyone to know that there's nothing in my brain right now. So- And I need to preface the, I need to preface everything that comes in my mouth with that there is nothing in my brain. I don't wanna lie to, ever, lie to everybody. It's still 2023. It is day 11 of Vlogmas and I am unwell. But we are excited <laughs> for you to experience this in 2024. And as the first 13 seconds are a great indication, very little has changed. Very little has changed. And I would say that that there's probably nothing about to change, but it is day 11 of Vlogmas. But you never know. Anyway, we're thrilled for everybody to be here. <laughs> this might be the year we grow some maturity. Who knows? Oh, it's not. It could be. I'm feeling more mature already. You know what I saw on the TikTok about the other day was egg math. Did you, have you heard about egg math? Go ahead and just pause all the topics for today. <laughs> when I tell you that there is nothing in my brain. I actually would argue there's lots. It's just whether or not the quality filter has been applied. It has not been. Okay, egg math, go ahead. Egg math. So when you're eating like a fried egg. Yes. Um, You, you know, you might eat two, two fried eggs. Yes. Right? Sure. Same with like a hard boiled egg, like two hard boiled eggs. Are you saying you can eat more scrambled eggs? So I'm about to say, so like hard boiled eggs, same thing. Like you feel like chill about like two hard boiled eggs. Before you even finish this, by the way. Yeah. I already get it. And I'm I'm so on board. You're in on egg math, right? Could I- Scrambled? I'm, yeah. I could put down freaking five eggs. Same with an omelet. You put that shit in an omelet, six eggs, easy. Do you think that the simulation will update though? And then it'll all be the same? No, egg math is to here to stay. Okay. Doesn't that have something to do with like the actual like chemical- process of making more or like more like mass to have I to eat? did not get that far into egg math. I didn't get into egg science. I know that you, you could be allergic to certain types of foods that are prepared different ways. Well, it's like a lot of how people will like eat a hard boiled egg and then they get, get gassy the, as fuck. Yeah, the farts after, but then like a scrambled egg doesn't fuck them up like that. Right. I don't do hard boiled eggs. I like a hard boiled egg, but I don't really eat the yolk. Okay. But I don't mind the yolk when it's in like a sunny side up or a scrambled, but yeah. I, I don't like the texture of the yolk. Okay. It's like m- dry and a little, it, like the inside, the yolk of a hard boiled egg is dusty. Yes. And I, and I, and I cannot elaborate more than that. Yes. It's dusty. And um, I wish that I had something to add to this, but I don't. Okay. <coughs> oh, I had that coming, sorry. Um, 
Well, welcome back to Brussels 9. <laughs> was there any other maths that you'd like to discuss? No, that's Quick all I math? have. It was just egg math. Egg math? Egg math. That's okay. all I have for you. No no new girl math updates? No new girl math updates. Um, oh, you know what? I did see one the other day, but I can't remember. And again, I have nothing in my brain. Okay. I girl mathed um, some light bulbs earlier this week and uh, whatever math I did to get there and whatever math needed to be there. That's insulting, honestly, to girl math, that you're going to blame girl math on you ordering the wrong light bulbs. I went with the, I went with the vibe. When I was like thinking through, when I was yeah. looking at like the specs, I was like, this yeah, feels right. Don't blame girl math for that. It felt smaller than what the page was telling me. Therefore, I went with it. That's not girl math. Listen, as That's a- That's Jeremy math. Okay. I, what would you know about girl math? Uh, I literally live and breathe girl math. Well, I did notice with your desk the other day that you did. Okay, I just want to say that I, okay, so I have this walking treadmill pad, which truly- For your hot girl walks. For my hot girl walks, for my indoor hot indoor girl hot walks, walks, where I want to watch the Great British Baking Show. I want to watch Bachelor in Paradise while I'm doing my little walkie walk. And truly it has been life-changing. I cannot recommend getting a walking pad enough because one, I feel like sometimes I come back from a walk if I go walking outside with my hair smelling weird. I always say this and I feel like, I don't know if anyone else resonates with this, but sometimes I get home and my hair smells like right, wind. Hold on, just hold on, <laughs> hold on. Whoa. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, so I don't know. This is one of those things where you gotta like hang out with your partner before yeah. you move in so you can avoid things like this. So yeah. Lauren didn't drop her whole <laughs> it smells like hair wind. smells like wind theory until like it was a little bit too late for me. And I'm still not buying it. And I still think it's one of like the weirdest. It's such a distinct smell. So walk through your position on this. My position on, on wind hair. Yeah. It's just that like when you go outdoors, I feel like it's not a permanent scent. Mm. I feel like you see this with the dogs too. Sometimes the dogs come back from a walk and they smell different than like after an hour after they've been home. Mm. So it's not that they need a full bath, but the wind smell is on them when we come back inside and I feel that way about my hair. I feel like just maybe, just maybe, just maybe, just maybe. This reminds me of like when they first were like observing fruit flies and they assumed <laughs> that like fruit, mm -hmm. if left long enough, right? Yeah. Like created fruit flies out of like old moldy rotten fruit but then they realized, no, it just flocks to the fucking fruit. And then the flies are there next to flute, like the fruit. Wait, so, like, so how does this relate to my so wind like, hair? I feel like it's not necessarily the wind that makes it smell bad. Like you're just like- It's the wind. No, I don't think it's the <laughs> wind. I think it's whatever is like being carried in the wind or the dogs that just fucking smell bad in the first place. No, but then they don't smell bad after they've been like home for a little bit. But it's like they aerate out a little bit. Yeah. Right, because they're, they're getting the wind smell off of them when so they you, get home. Okay, so you think the smell of your hair yeah. and the smell of the dogs- is not the same, no. But I'm using the same analogy though of the dogs. No, you're using the same cause. What? You are saying that it, they smell like of, they smell of wind. Right. No, 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 the dogs, the dogs kind of smell a little, little stinky, little, 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 little sweaty wind boys. Slutty wind boys? <laughs> uh, sweaty wind boys. Okay. Because dogs can't sweat, right? Like they, they sweat through their paws. They Don't sweat mansplain through. dog sweating to me. Um, and so like, I feel like when they, when we go outside and right. do a walk, but you know what though? When they run around the house, if they if they do zoomies for 20 minutes or yes. super active and are like, like releasing whatever doggy sweat, they don't have the smell. But when we do outdoor activity, they come inside smelling like wind. If you're a windologist, <laughs> please comment below. Because I'm sure, I'm sure that like if, like if you walk, okay, if you're outside yeah. and there's a barbecue yes, or like a, a fire somewhere yeah. and it's blowing that like smoke next to you. Oh, like campfire yeah. smell is so sticky. So, but, but, but so is that wind still? No, that's campfire. I'm trying to get on your page. There's also KBBQ hair too. Like KBBQ smell is very similar to the barbecue smell. I, I gotta be honest. That is where my whiteness drops off. I've never, I've never had, I can, I can, I can. You've can, never been to KBBQ? Not long enough to have KBBQ. Q hair. Like a lot of girls, this is- KBBQH? Is that what it is? Yeah, I guess it would be if okay. you want to throw an H on there, yeah. Okay. I, I know a lot of girls who won't go to KBBQ if they've just washed their hair because- Who is this list of women? What? Who is this list of women? Um, so you're telling me multiple people have told you, I won't do KBBQ. Oh, 100%. On like the first half of their like hair washing schedule, when their hair is clean, 
<laughs> Say less. Hair washing schedule? Yeah. I'm back in. I yeah. get it. I totally understand. Yeah. Honestly, if I were you, I don't think I would permit an outdoor activity for the first three days. Wind. Wind hair. I Well, less about the wind and just more about <laughs> anything. But you, you've always had this like thing with wind. You also have this thing with wind hurting your ears. Yeah, but that's an actual medical issue. I think <laughs> that one's different. So, okay. <laughs> on the topic of wind, once again, hold all the topics we had today. Yeah. Did you want to explain? The ear thing? Yeah, when Lauren walks outside. This is actually how I met Dr. Mike on Twitter is that I tweeted something before Twitter went to fucking shit. I tweeted something right. about asking for medical advice because as everyone should do, they should get their medical right. advice on the internet and on Twitter specifically. <laughs> That's where the most legit people are. Yeah, that makes sense. And so I just was just like reaching out to the the community of people who have ear problems. The wind gods? The ENT, of oh. the ENT problems of the internet. Oh, so they're best suited to, to treat wind related injuries? Well, okay. So it's only because it's it's a wind related thing. It also is associated with temperature though. Okay. So it's like a weird- Cancel all the guests. A weird pain that I get mm -hmm. like deep inside my ear. So it, mm. it's not necessarily in my throat and it's not in my nose, but it'd be, so mm. it's closer to my ears yep. where all the things attached closer to my ears, but deep deep in there. And if cold wind is going by my ears, my ears don't have had, it has to be cold. Okay. And is it like colder than your body? Colder than- Oh, fuck if I know. Okay. So you've just had this problem for a long time. You haven't for, really- for Forever. But you haven't really pinpointed- No. Okay. No. But you are willing to complain about it, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I'm just making sure we, I'm on the same page. Okay. No, I went to the doctor one time and asked about it and they were like entirely not concerned about it. And, and real, I was like, what, okay, what so words it's actually use? like, what? What words did you use? Just That I have like deep inner ear pain when I'm outdoors and it's cold and windy. And he was like, sick. <laughs> and I was like, the, okay. The, the question was, are you taking a multivitamin? So where was I going with it? I started with my walking pad and Great British Baking Show. Where? How did we get here to the wind, to my wind injuries? I think anyway, if anyone's an ENT, please let me know if there's something that I can do to fix this problem. Because right now I'm just wearing earmuffs or tightening my hoodie strings. So it's just my little stupid face poking out of my hoodie to pr protect my ears. One last thing to add onto that. Yeah. I think I'm going to change the bio of our show starting next year. Yeah. So this year to, um, uh, I listen to this show when I want to turn my brain off after 12 hours of yes. the ER. Yes. Like as a doctor, as a professor, as a insert intelligent person here, yep. I love to listen to the show when I don't want to have to think about anything real. Yes. And that is the type of entertainment we're going for. Oh my God. Yeah. I met a urologist who listens to the pod as well too. Um, That's at the, the YouTube AAPI thing. And I almost wanted to ask her to be like, I just need to know, like, like why, <laughs> why our podcast? <laughs> Wait, but hold on. So does she hear m my very logical, reasonable fear of my own butthole? Is she familiar so, with this? So I'm not entirely sure if you know what a urologist is, but that is the wrong hole. Isn't that the butthole? <laughs> no. Pee hole. Urologist, urine, pee hole. Mm, there's some Greek Latin in there, isn't so, there? So no, I don't think she is concerned about your butthole. I think I think many well, call many other ask? people are concerned about your butthole, but I would say that she probably is not one of them. Her twelve years of med, med school are probably not leading her to any do conclusions. I, do I speak, who do I speak with about, about your the, the, the butt butthole. thing? Probably your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Have you ever found yourself in that all too familiar struggle of trying to find a good doctor? I mean, the kind that not only knows their stuff, but also clicks with you. I've been there more times than I'd like to admit. It's really kind of searching for a needle in a haystack, right? You go through recommendations, call dozens of offices, and sometimes after all that effort, you still end up in a waiting room wondering if this is even the right fit. That is why I love ZocDoc, because they have taken the struggle out of finding the right doctor. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. My favorite part of ZocDoc is that all of the reviews on ZocDoc are from real patients and not bots. You get genuine insights before choosing your doctor. And by, cho by choosing your doctor, she means choosing my doctor for me. Choosing Jeremy's doctor for him. Yeah, yeah. I've reviewed these reviews and I believe that this, this is, is a great be fit, a good fit for, for you. you. 
And if you're anything like me, always in a rush, you will love this. The average wait time to see a doctor booked through ZocDoc is just 24 to 48 hours. They even have some same day appointments. How convenient is that? Arguably too convenient sometimes when I'm being um, assigned my appointments. Once you find the doctor you need, booking them is as easy as a few taps on your phone. No more endless hold music or back and forth with a receptionist. It's healthcare on your terms, fast and simple. So whether you're looking to consult a dermatologist, need a routine checkup, or have a specific health concern, ZocDoc is the way to go. It's redefining how we manage our healthcare appointments. Make sure to download the ZocDoc app and experience this healthcare game changer for yourself. Your health deserves the best, and with ZocDoc, it's just a few taps away. Go to ZocDoc.com slash wild and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash wild, ZocDoc.com slash wild. Eleven days into Vlogmas, and I'm starting to sense a pattern. What's the pattern? Well, year over year, I think you uh, you, you reach like a a place uh -huh. where you go on autopilot, uh -huh. and the soul begins to leave your body. Yeah, and that that thing that might be starting a little bit earlier this year than usual. When I tell you that the title of today's vlog is literally my vlogmas spiral came early this year. <laughs> right. Y yeah, because I <laughs> yesterday I just I heard you like came down the stairs kind of in a lifeless pattern. Yeah. And we're just like, I'm not, I'm not posting today. I can't. And I was like, okay, yeah. No, you were like, yeah, fuck, 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 Yesterday, yesterday was the death of my soul. Yes, okay. it's yeah, yeah. No, and now we go into autopilot, which is fine. It's gonna be fine. Yeah. But th there, I'm, I am, I am, I am a skeleton. I am, but a bag of bones. But you do well at completing tasks. Still, you just do it in a way that doesn't. You, like if if this was a corporate setting. Yeah. I'd have to like tap in the shoulder and be like, hey, you're kind of bumming out the staff. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Uh, like task will be completed. Yeah, like, hey, like you're still getting things done. Totally, totally. totally. But, like, Am I sucking the energy to the room? Like, yes, could absolutely. You, could you do this stuff at home maybe? Yes. Like, it's, yes. Can you sulk somewhere else? No, like the Can interns you go are concerned. I saw a TikTok of a psychologist. Was it a psychologist? I think it was a psychologist who was saying that carcass time, I forget what she called it. We call it carcass time. She didn't medically say carcass time. Sign off on carcass time? She said, um, well, car -car? Well, uh, what did she call it? She basically called it recharging. Mm. Like a Love couch, a she was calling it like a couch day, like something like that. And I was like, yeah, oh yes, carcass time. But she was saying that it is a necessity for the creative juices of your brain to recharge. And TikTok is a great source of that. Yes. Okay. Yes. And yesterday, like I saw that later oh, on the CBR. evening. Couch-based resuscitation, rejuvenation, yes. rejuvenation. rejuvenation. Yeah, yes, CBR. Yeah. No, no, I am also being resuscitated as well. That one also works. CBRR. <laughs> um, but it was like, I even, I, I did vlog a little bit yesterday cause I'm gonna join up my, my two days of day 10 and day 11. But because I'm doing, I decided to make vlogmas a little bit hard for myself and decided to do seven days of daily DIY videos as well too, to just And like you decided this kind of like a few days in too. You went well, rogue. Well, it's because LASIK got canceled and oh. I had a couple extra days that I had had nothing scheduled like social wise because I was expecting to like need a little downtime for recovery. And so I was like, oh, the bridal DIY series like was just like, so it was, it did so well and I loved making it and it I was, was great. So I was like, okay, I can do the Christmas version. And um, I just forgot last time I did this, I wasn't daily vlogging. And so all of that on top, uh, like, especially on a Sunday, I feel like Sunday is my reset day. Yeah. And so yesterday being Sunday on top of, I did like three and a half of the DIYs cause a lot of the things need dry time. So I've been trying to like space them out and schedule it properly. Cause I leave for Big Bear in like 48 hours as well too on top of that. So I have to finish Wait, these. Wait, does that mean I'm, I'm gonna do the advent calendar again? Yeah, of course. Got it. You've okay. got two days of advent calendar that you must complete. Well, I, I'm gonna start, get started in the lighting design right now. I can't wait. Yeah. People are so excited. I've gotten so many comments about how they're so excited for me to go to Big Bear so that you can do the advent calendar. It really is the highlight of some people's vlogmas and I, I hope that you really soak that in. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. Yeah, it'll be great. So yeah, Sunday is normally my reset day. So on top of that, and then the vlog situation, then trying to like knock out these seven DIYs before I leave. Yesterday, all I wanted to do was shut the fuck up. 
And I and there's that it's like the the easiest way to summarize that is I wanted to shut the fuck up because even filming the DIYs is like peaceful because like especially when you're shooting in vertical for like TikToks and stuff like I'm just shooting my hands for the most part right so it's like yes like using my brain to make sure the lighting is good and the shot is right but like my face isn't in it so like I don't have to think about my face is doing so I can like listen to music listen to a podcast and I can shut the fuck up and just craft and I'm like I enjoy that I I'm growing more and more impressed with your ability to do what I would consider like, not like the most titillating like <laughs> activity by yourself. And you just knock them out. I mean, when I don't have to like uh, be, give, give life. Yeah, but like, <laughs> when I can again, simply shut the fuck up. Yeah, but like there's something about like the, I look at that as an ADHD brain and I go, yeah, yeah, Whoa. yeah. No, no, like I can, I, I have right now six different projects on the go. One is completed and the rest of them are at different stages of being finished. And I have a very strict schedule on when things need to be done. And this is probably an episode we should have done, like, I don't know, episode three or four. We didn't, but I'm still fascinated by this whole, like, you just know what material and color. <laughs> and Jeremy says this, he's like, how do you, know that because like let's no, I say was go ahead go ahead if you were to, if you told me hey make a christmas worm first off i'd be like what the fuck <laughs> but let's say i knew what a christmas worm was i feel like the context is that i'm making a rainbow clay worm with daisies painted on it it's it's a, it's a paintbrush holder so like the worm the back of the worm has like um a like slit? his his back Ugh, i absolutely hate that word no, the worm has a slit no he doesn't have a slit he's uh, his, Warren. His his back, like he's like a, a wiggly worm, a wiggly worm. And then in like the down parts of the but wiggle, honestly, you put the paintbrush. All the, best, all the best worms are. Yeah, wiggly. So anyway, you're making this fucking thing. Yeah. And like, I just, the th not as someone who doesn't enjoy instruction manuals, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like I'm like someone who like needs one typically to get started. I don't use instructions anyway. Sure. But I creatively, if you told me I need to make a squiggly worm and just show me a picture of said worm, uh -huh. I would not know where to begin. I certainly wouldn't know the material. I certain, certainly wouldn't know how to dye said material. Mm -hmm. Certainly wouldn't know mm -hmm. how to like treat it. And you're like, well, I mean, you start with this and then you get the shape that you want. And then you add the color and then, they, and how the fuck do you know all this? Jeremy really got stuck on varnish. And he was like, what's varnish? I said a clear coat. Like, like that's the what thing is that the, everyone the knows. With, varnish. Like that's a word that everyone knows, but <laughs> no one knows when exactly you need varnish uh -huh. unless you've had to varnish something. And why have you varnished something? And at what point in time did you learn what varnish was to then like figure out how to like use it and work with it? The reason why there is again, nothing important in my brain and I don't know anything is because I know too much about craft but stuff. Like, when did you pick up, all, when you, when, when we were introduced? I mean, it's the same way that you know all this like weird tech shit. But that's arguably. <laughs> is what? Made for Googleable. So, but so is this. So like if I watch someone make, so basically this this wiggly paintbrush worm is modeled off of something that you can like buy ready made at a craft store or not a craft store, sorry, like, like a decor gift shop, whatever. And so when I see that, I'm like, oh, like I'm sure someone's made something similar before or like there's so many videos on people using types of clay. So I'm like, oh, okay, great. Air dry clay or polymer clay? Stop, or stop. What do you mean air dry play? Play. <laughs> air play dry. Air so play air, dry. air dry clay or polymer, polymer clay. How did you know that there were those two options? Because I've worked with polymer clay before. <laughs> okay. Like there's just so many different types of clay. And so I've worked with a handful of them before. By the way, it's not that I don't think that there are many types of clay. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, there's clay that, no, there's just clay. Okay. Like I wouldn't know. Does Play-Doh also fall into the clay category for your brain? Play-Doh? Yeah. Play-Doh is Play-Doh. Play-Doh is Play-Doh. Yeah. Okay. Edible clay. Um, just <laughs> strongly discouraged, but <laughs> not not illegal. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, there's, well, cause you use different clays for different things. No, that's the thing though. I don't use clays for anything. Never right, have, right. never will. But for me, you think about all your crazy cables. If I can just use one cable to make everything charge and have power, that's that's what I want to do. Right. But you've got 1900 cables for 1900 different things. Right, but like, uh, okay. Okay, so like you're saying like physical form factor and protocol is the same as like knowing how a thing does, what do. No idea what the fuck you just said, but I think yes. They're ingredients to a recipe. Ingredients to a recipe, that's all it is. So you have to understand what makes a good dish and the individual ingredients that go into said dish. 
that's not edible. And the dish is the worm. And the dish is the RJ45 connector. Yes. Okay. Why, why didn't you say so the first time? I think I think that we got there eventually. But like, I just think it's a little crazy to me. <laughs> you know how to like make things from nothing. It's all I know how to do. I right, but I just am trying to figure out when the fuck you learned all this. Mm. Like, I, I, you've learned as far as I'm concerned since we've been together. <laughs> <laughs> no additional information <laughs> as far as building things are concerned. You seem to have. <laughs> Come fully baked, ready to go, right out of the oven. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, well, I learned about Sagu. I feel like I can spell more things. I know about more states now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Listen, I- We learned about how babies can't drink water. Yeah. We learned so, about okay. egg math. Okay, so you've learned TikTok facts since we've been together. Yes. And that's about it. That's not true though. I feel like I've learned lots of like new DIY things. Well, where do you learn new DIY things? When do you, where do you do this research? Probably TikTok. So you're doing, okay, got it. So uh, whenever you see me carcassing, just know that I'm working. Yeah, I've gave, all right. I'm working. <laughs> okay. No, but okay, for example, there's like a new type of air dry clay that I just found this like brand of, and they send you like a box of the clay, some tools, some paint, some varnish, and they give you like everything. And so I don't necessarily need a starter kit, but it's like a good place to start in terms of like, like having all of the things. So I'm like, oh, this is probably a good varnish. There's a bajillion different varnish that I know you need a varnish, but like- Why do you need, why do you know, how do you know that? Um, Cause you have to seal the colors in. And varnish is the only thing that seals things. Yes. Only thing? I mean, I'm sure you could cast it into like a resin or something and I would also seal it. Oh, see, see, this is where, uh, I'm just trying to say, I think it's wildly impressive. You know how to make something out of nothing because you know what types of nothing you need to make something. But this, this is why, this is why I, I still am able to make crafts on the internet, I think. Because I've always said that I'm not like, I'm, not, I'm a master of none, but I'm good at creative problem solving. It's what I'm best at. Yes. Is creative problem solving. If I can, I can look at something and be like, I can like figure out how to recreate that. But that is the phrase in corporate, fucking verb, like like creative problem solving. Yeah, but I actually mean that. You no, know, like you you do, you really do. Like, in fact, all of your skill sets are the one that I genuinely think that AI is gonna have a difficult time replacing. Right, right. I think AI's fucking squirmy worm will be, be ass. beautiful in the metaverse and shit in the one we live in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, okay. My squirmy worm looks amazing so far. But so for example, I learned on TikTok, I found this new brand of air dry clay, it's called Sculpt. And, um, and Sorry, so- what? Sculpt. What's the type of word that, is it onomatopoeia that sounds like what, what it, it is? is? Yeah. yeah, I think so, okay. sculpt. And so anyways, I, I found this new brand cause I was like, oh, I loved working with clay when I did a pottery video for amateur artists, right. but I don't want to have to go through the process of like finding a kiln and having to like do that process. So air dry clay, this like feels like a great option for stuff that also people would want a tutorial for because also no one wants to go find a kiln for the most part. Mm. And so then I was like, okay, what are my options here? And then I got a crack in my worm. And so then I just like Googled how to fix. And so like I learned something new yesterday cause I had to fix my worm. There's a little crack in my worm. Mm. So again, we were just talking about this is how I use TikTok as like a research platform. And I'd actually almost prefer going on TikTok versus YouTube than like how to fix a crack in your air dry clay. T. Okay. Um, Sis, slay. I just think, okay. I'm just, I, I think I'm so far behind. I have, I have no choice but to sit down and just be impressed. Thank you so much. My worm looks amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I am but a skeleton of a, of a shell of a human. I think I'm gonna call Vlogmas early though this year. Okay. I might go until day 20. Well, well but go ahead and just, put out a prediction now and yeah. we'll all see how close you get. Right, exactly. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to try and aim for day 20. Um I think you'll do 21. My parents get here on the 19th. So I think you'll do one to two more episodes after they get here and be done. That would be the 20th. Listen, <laughs> I don't think you needed to be so aggressive. No, but I, I just feel like we're in agreement. Is that I think my parents will get here and I'll do one or two days more. Well said. Yeah. Exactly. And so I think that that's gonna be the plan. Um, because I just don't wanna, I wanna be present with my family and I don't wanna be a shell of a human. And that's how I currently feel right now. Okay. Cause I think I get in this, like this, uh, this 
balance of trying to do things for the vlog because I want to have something entertaining for people to watch. Right. But I also know that people are down to just like hang and do nothing, but that's hard to title and thumbnail. And so you're at the hands of the YouTube algorithm of doing a thumbnail and a title. Like for the most part, I know that there are a core chunk of people that I could literally title a vlog of being like, I did absolutely nothing in this vlog. Can't wait to hang out with you. And like, realistically catch me on day 14. That might be a vlog title. But like- Day 11. <laughs> yeah, it, you're right. That'll be today's vlog title. Um, except for, I actually have a lot to do today, so I can't- 37 I minutes can't of nothing. I'm, Please watch the I'm ads. I'm doing nothing. Exactly. <laughs> here's here's 37 minutes of Moose napping. And- um, I mean, at any point in time, great we want to monetize the pup cam. Wait, that's a great- If and I just follow Moose and Dickie around for a whole day, that's a great vlog. I literally GoPro that fucker. Moose is born a GoPro, a little, you do a little harness on the back. It's like a saddle and the GoPro sits on the back. I, you know, those ones that um, like the bee guy, the one that like, oh, the bee guy that puts him. in the mouth of 3D that. cam. Yeah, except for they don't really do much. So I don't know if we need the 3D camera. Yeah, but then you'd see us being amazed by how little they do. Yeah, that's true. That's Sorry, true. I, coming I, to like check I, in. I derailed you. Yeah, yeah. you're at the hands of the YouTube algorithm for making a title and thumbnail and that makes me want to die and I hate thinking about that. And so it's not it's not the actual vlogging portion that makes me feel like a shell of a human. It's the part where at the end when you're uploading it and you're like, "Oh fuck, now I have to like think about the businessy side of this and I hate that." That like takes away from like the in the the connecting with the audience. Like that's what's so great about Vlogmas is that like you're hanging out with someone on a daily basis for the most part. But then you get sucked out of how like nice and intimate that feels every time I have to like make a fucking thumbnail and a title. Anyways, what's new with you? <laughs> How's your Vlogmas, Jeremy? <laughs> How's your Vlogmas? I, I'm ready for my big, my big, my big opportunity. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I, it's always a pain in the ass, but I'm I'm glad that I can do it. I sliced my finger open last night during vlogging. I can't talk to you about that. I can't talk to you about my that. My knife went right into my finger. We talk, we, there's a few things that I'm afraid of in this life. And it's that. And it's cutting my own finger off. Yeah. And my butthole. Went right in. And like, I don't know how those two, like who knows what happened in my childhood that, that, that got us yeah, here. Yeah, the butthole trauma is crazy. But the, also the fingers and sharp objects thing. I don't know. I just, the, so, that there's nothing more rational. There's nothing scary to me than like when there's a movie and they, of course, are in the fucking kitchen and someone's talking to somebody, chop, 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 looking over here. And I'm like, I'm like, I, I know this is a comedy, yeah. but like at any point in time, if she just cuts her finger off just and everybody else finds it funny, mm -hmm. I'm not going to find it funny mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, I know. I, I, I see that for you. I don't mind that. What's happening to me? All right, let's go on. I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so what's the plan for 2024? What's the, what's the outlook? What's what, what are we looking at here? Jeremy, I don't know what I'm eating for breakfast tomorrow. Well, you do because there's three options. You're right. There are three options. Next question. Meal plan. Um, January. Let's see. As of January, January, we will be getting married so soon. Oh boy. And so I feel like fitness wise. Yeah. And not even because it's the new year, it's more like the fitness goals towards wedding. Yeah. And I, I just want to preface this by saying that like everybody is a bikini body. Everybody is a wedding body. And I am like very down with that. I just personally don't feel good about my body right now. And December, I just like, am, I'm very like body neutral. I feel like right now, because I know that December is brutal for me. And so like, I'm trying my best, but I know that my fitness goals are like not as attainable as they will be come January. Just when my, like my schedule lightens up a little bit. Okay. I know enough to know that it's not my um, best response to tell you what I think about um, how great you look right now. And so nice. instead, I'm going to support you in the sense that I don't know what you're going through, but I'm thrilled to be there for you when you need me. That is so nice. But also I'm going to um, try and get the fuck to the gym in January as well. Yeah. And I'm, I have, uh, per usual, I have no goals when it comes to my body or my <laughs> fitness. And I plan on hitting them once again this year. <laughs> That is so nice. I I've, love that for I've you. I've just never had like a, a physical, I want to have this. I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to lift yeah. that. Yeah. It's never been something that like was a thing for me. Probably out of a lot of uh, uh, luck See, there. See, isn't it nice to not set goals sometimes? Totally, totally. However, <laughs> maybe I should be setting goals. <laughs> Yeah, maybe some. I, I definitely, I remember writing down some goals at the beginning of this year and one of them was definitely to be able to do 10 pull-ups. The way that that is- Okay, but why do you want to, you don't like, that's like the thing that your body is least naturally inclined to do. Yeah, but when people can do them, it's really cool. 10 is crazy. Yeah, 10 man. is crazy, Where I know. Where did you get that number? Well, I, I was just like, I don't know. I was can just like Can you do that, one? I could probably do one and a half. Damn, sure. Oh, wow. No, 
Damn. I, I think a lot of girls like that. can't do one. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, like, a lot of girls, really it's really hard. hard. Yeah, a lot of me is really hard. I could probably, do, I could maybe do two. I could maybe do two. Yeah. No, I wanted to be able to do 10. Well, you're closer now than you were a year ago. No, I'm definitely not, not closer. Cause now that I'm lifting weights less and doing more Pilates, Mm. And cardio, I am definitely less that, close to that goal. That ass fat? But that ass fat. P-H-A-T. Obvi. <laughs> <laughs> what other goals do you have for January, babe? Oh, I have literally so many, but I need uh, December to be over before I even put oh. them out of the world. Okay. So like everyone's going to get more real-time goals. We are Real-time goals. But there, there are goals coming. Okay. What are like the category of goals for you? Do better, you stupid fuck. Okay. That's that's the way I'm titling and that is 2024. the positive outlook. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need some some tough love. Okay. I need some some cut straight. To, I need some tough, realistic targets. Yeah. On the way to my goals. Okay. I'm just setting. Listen, I'm setting KPIs early. Yeah. Yeah. Key. Yes. Productivity. No. Well, I'm more of a key performance indicator. Key. Per- oh, indicator. You gave me the eye. Yeah, sorry. I knew the eye. You could take a key productivity indicator, I think. There's some some correlations there, but it's, it's performance. Key plushy indicators. Igloo. Iggies. Oh, I love Iggies. Anyway, okay. Uh, what's your, okay. Are you setting goals this year? I get through Vlogmas. <laughs> Got it. I literally can't even, well, because I just have so much on my plate right now that there is not a goal to be set that feel like I can't even, I can't even compartmentalize that part of my goal setting brain mm. until I accomplish these goals. I feel that way. Cause somebody DM me the other day, they're like, Hey, one of the seven dudes who um, likes women that watches your podcast yeah. uh, would love if you would just like start a broadcast channel for, you know, like a support group for the straight the straight guys out there that watch because your show. That's what the internet needs. And I'm like all 12 of us sitting there just like <laughs> complaining that we're getting old and more out of touch. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, that'd be great. I'm like, that actually sounds like a decent time. And then I thought to myself, I don't need more, one more thing on my plate. I'll fuck that up too. Cause can you imagine I start it and that's the last time I enter the group? Right. Cause right, that's what right, would happen right, right, right now. Right, 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 right. Um, you know, what we are doing though is the squid game escape room activation thingy. Would you go on squid weeks. game? Uh, no, absolutely to not. To compete? What? I mean, assuming they don't kill you. Fuck no. Would you do the reality show? No. Oh, I would. That'd be fun. No, I would not do that. Yeah, I would no. do that. Do you see they were putting, you're using the lube from condoms as lip balm because their lips were so chapped. That is not an environment that I will thrive in. Only because you wouldn't have brought any condoms and you wouldn't have had anything to put on your lips then. Yeah, no, that's not for me. I, I enjoy like forced everyone's eating shit at the same time type of events. Like a marathon? Well- I wouldn't do a marathon, but <laughs> but if I was gonna have to run 26.2 fucking miles. You're not gonna do it by yourself. I'm certainly not gonna do it by there myself. There was a guy on TikTok who ran a marathon in his house and he was doing it on live. But I, that feels like a thing he's done before. I don't think so. What do you mean, like, like, like on a treadmill? No, he was just like running in his house. He measured the distance and was like, I have to go back and forth this many times to run a marathon. Did he finish? Yeah, sure, I think he did, right? Yep. Yeah. What, so hold on. We're, did I miss the broadcast? Yeah, you did. We, Sean and I were both actually watching it while he was doing like his last little bit. I feel like that's, you know, like, did you guys ever watch TV in school? Like the 15 minute news would pop on? Huh? Oh, in America, this is a thing. Like 15 minutes of like- Propaganda? Yes. Uh, it piped into everyone's televisions for, for quite some time. What? Uh, look it up. Two, in school? Yeah, early 2000s. What do you mean? And like public and private school had different ones. But yeah, there was like a very much a- a produce? Like we literally had 15 minutes of quote unquote news, not kidding, every single like day. Yeah. I don't know if it was live or from the day before or whenever the fuck it was from. But yeah, I remember it was a thing. Who was like the, <coughs> who was like the- ah, Oh boy. <coughs> oh fuck, I'm dying. PBS NewsHour Classroom? Ooh, maybe. But no, that would, it was, how old were you? Elementary school? High school. Oh, high school. Maybe it was that because it says current events ready to go for students grades. Yeah, something like 12. that. Yeah. Please comment below with whatever you remember it. But yeah, it was like 15 minutes of news that no one cared about wow, every day. Wow, that's wild. Well, I think that we should definitely care about the guy who ran the marathon in his house. Well, that, no, that yeah, guy, I think so too. That guy sounds great. There was another TikToker who went to Eel Pit. He went to I go visit this. Eel Pit guy. Yeah, you sent it to me, right? Yes. Yeah. I can't believe it. He's taking visitors. I do think that when we were in Kentucky. I always like put my name on the list to go visit Do you want a pod pit. from the pit? I don't know if I want a pod from the pit. You don't, w- sorry, what? After all this fucking 
I think we're just going to turn to the email. Shaquille O'Eal, do you have anything to say? Yeah. And they'll be like, honestly, couldn't be more distracting than a fucking dog sanctuary. Yeah, that's true. See? That's true. I was just more thinking about the logistics from your side on how to hook up pod from the pit with lighting and stuff. Oh, it, it, from this point on, we'll grab a couple fucking iPhones call it a day. Hey, Jillies, it is your favorite book girly here in her book girly era. I have been diving deep into my reading journey lately, and I am thrilled to share something that's been a total game changer for me. Book of the month. Book of the month is more than just a subscription service. It's like having a personal book curator. Every month they present a selection of the best new titles. As I mentioned last week, I recently picked out Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow from their list. And let me tell you, I am hooked. And the best part, they offer these amazing books at fantastic prices. And shipping is always on the house. Plus their loyalty program is a cherry on top offering even better deals the longer you stick around. Recently, they launched their curated audiobooks alongside their hardcovers. So whether you're someone who loves the classic feel of a hardback or prefers stories to accompany you on the go, they've got you covered. And this just adds to the whole experience. I'm genuinely impressed by how the Book of the Month selects their books. Their editorial team goes through hundreds of titles to handpick the most engaging ones for us. No matter which book you choose, you're in for a treat. And the convenience of their service is impeccable. There's always something for every type of reader. Right now, you can head over to bookofthemonth.com and snag your first book for a mere $5 using the code WILD. It's such a good deal. You do not want to miss out. I cannot recommend Book of the Month enough. It's not just about receiving books. It's about the joy of discovery, tracking your reading journey on their app, and connecting with stories that resonate. Remember, use the code WILD for that amazing first book deal. something that we missed out on last year that we have to do now today for this year, saying this year as in for 2024, Mm -hmm. are the bingo cards. Ooh. The 2024 prediction bingo cards. And then we can reflect on this in a year. What does this mean? So this means like, like you, it could be like a celebrity breakup. It could be the downfall. So like, I'm sure that people did not have like the downfall of Matt Reif on their 2023 bingo card because he was just like on the up and up. We also didn't know who Matt Reif was in 2022. Right, but maybe at the beginning of 2023, people did. Maybe. I I mean, he's been doing comedy for so long that some people might have. I don't think I knew Matt Reif December 2022. Right. So some people might have had the rise of Matt Reif mm. on their on their 2023 bingo card. Right. And the rise so of Reif. It is so funny to see how like the predictions that people made, what came true, and then we can make our 2024 bingo card. My favorite is Anthony Jeselnik just being like, Yeah, you can do that if you get away with it. And it's funny. But his wasn't funny. So oh, and it was like yeah. of all people to say like oh, Justin like says yes, things that are like yes, so yes. far out there. Yes, this is pertaining to Matt Rife's Netflix special and the uh I mean the incredibly that, deserved critique. But not that everybody doesn't love a good domestic abuse joke. Like, the fuck? Literally, my jaw dropped. We watched the first 10 minutes of it yeah. and it, literally that unfolded and I was like, what the fuck? If, if somebody character this couldn't be less on topic, but did somebody characterize like like just because you're a comic doesn't mean that anything that you say is automatically funny. Right, and okay. Right, yeah. and also to to their point as well, he has a, an audience filled with women. Literally know your fucking audience. No, he decided that nev- his Netflix specialty, specialty, his Netflix special was no, gonna be like- specialty. Like, here's where I decide that I have all male followers who right. are gonna find this funny. And the guys didn't find it funny. No. And it sounds like He's women did not find it funny. literally beefing right now. When this comes out, hopefully the beef is over. And you know what, his career's probably dead by now anyways by the time this comes out, but he's literally beefing with like a six year old child right now. Sick. That's, I thank God we didn't Something like- Something that would, would not be on most people's bingo card is Matt Rife fighting with a six year old. I get it now. Yeah, Let's there you go. Let's fucking do it. Um, babe, I can't read any of these, so I need you to- Okay, so uh, I'm looking at said bingo card. This is someone else's bingo card oh. for 2023. And so they got to cross things off. Wait, hold on. Why, how in the fucking world could there be a first female? Would that mean Biden died? <laughs> <laughs> So someone called- It's not even election year. Someone called <laughs> Biden being taken out right. or not making it through 2024. Right, right, okay. right. So that, that's a nicer sorry, way sorry. of saying and that Biden me, died. And by the way, I, apologies to audio listeners. I, I, I just noticed that the very first top of the left, the very first option is first female POTUS. Right. And since there is not an election this year, the only way that happens is if- Something happens. Is if Joe's no longer with us. Yes, and exactly. Now, technically Joe does have to make it a couple more weeks. Yes. Our president 
<laughs> President Biden. But this is a, um, wow, that's a, I would have loved to see what the Vegas odds were on this one. Yeah. Because I'm sure you could have got quite the return if you put enough Some money Some of these are so one. fucking out of pocket. Okay. It's so funny. Number two, mandatory Twitter subscription fee announced. This kind of happened. Yeah, this kind of did, did happen. Did. But then it kind of went away. Do I pay for Twitter? I'm not sure, but I don't think everybody has to by any means. I think I did. I think if you wanted to keep your fucking stupid blue check mark, you had to pay two ninety nine. By the way, they can they can have it if I have one. It, they can have it. Back. I'm gonna give mine back. I don't even use the blood. The the I'm logged out, and I think I'm logged out forever. It, you, wow. Okay. So okay. So now that Lauren has two FA on accounts, once you get logged oh, out, I'm out. That's it's it. it. That's yeah, it. And in yeah. fact, if anybody could hack that, it's so safe that I'm not even in it. <laughs> <laughs> your DMs have never been more silent. <laughs> God. Unanswered. Okay. Um, Malaysia Airlines flight 370 found. I'm pretty sure we're still uh, still looking for that one. No, actually, I think they did find some rubble. Well, alien people think that they they found out. it. Oh, but real quick, can we can we um can we delineate? I might I might be an alien person. What qualifies you as an alien person? Um, alien people think uh -huh. that they have footage of some alien drones zapping the plane out of thin air. Oh, okay. I'm, <laughs> oh. Not, I'm not. I'm not quite there yet. Right. Yeah. No. I believe they they exist for sure. Right. 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 That's, I, that's yeah. That's like they think level. that they like vaporize the plane. Yeah. Because okay. of the people. Well, listen, that I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it's impossible. I'm just not gonna put it on my bingo card. Is that is that is that the right use? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Great. Okay. Harry Styles wears an ugly dress to the Grammys. I don't know if, no, I'm confident. I don't remember what he wore, what did but, he wear? Let's but I'm see. confident um, that Harry I, Styles I, did not look ugly. I crossed out the ones that did happen. Okay, great. <laughs> so, I was like, I gave you this, exactly- I did, I did do the work. Okay, got it. So- uh, Harry Styles did not wear uh, an ugly dress to the Grammys. If Harry, Harry Styles, Styles is wearing a dress, it's not ugly. He had a he had a, um, like a, a patchwork looking jumper, jumpsuit situation, full titties out. Titties out? Full titties out. Mm. But then he had an outfit change and there was a jacket and a pant um, and a really, really hold on. silver hold outfit. On, hold on, hold on. I don't think men wear a pant. I think they wear pants. And I think that might be my inner bigotry speaking at its finest. Because to me, a man can't wear a pant in my head. He Why? needs to wear pants. Why can't he wear a pant? I think a pant is a fashion. It's, it's like a staple. It's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a statement or pants. I'm wearing fucking pants right now, but I can tell you right now. Harry Styles, I gotta tell you, wears a pant. What's funny is I agree with you, but I can't think in any world where- You're wearing a pant? The word pant sounds weird now. Yeah. It's crossed the line. That's So I think I might be, am I sexist? Cause I don't think men can wear a pant. I don't know if this is a clip that you want on the internet. No, I don't, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> I, I, I need to like work through my, like, with my therapist on this I'm one. I'm not sure about this one. I think that maybe you've got a weird pant. definition associated with just, the word pant. All I'm doing is I think I'm, I'm calling out in my mind, a weird association that I don't think should exist. Okay. I think I could do better. Okay. Am I crazy? A pant? Can men wear a pant? Yes. I can wear a pant? Yes. You sure? Maybe not you, but like men see, can wear that, a pant. See, that's- But it's a you thing, not a man thing. Okay, can our neighbor Bob, can he wear a pant? No, Bob cannot wear a pant. Why? What? Why? Because Bob is 85. So, okay. When, what age are you no longer, okay, fine, okay. It's not about age, it's can, about vibe. <laughs> you're right, it's not a gender thing, it's a vibe thing. It's a vibe thing. Harry Styles wears a pant. It's a vibe thing, I'm back on. Bob can't wear a pant. I'm, you cannot wear a pant. Harry Styles wears a pant. Wait, hold on. Why can't I wear a pant? Jeremy, you can wear a pant. 2024 okay. <laughs> is the year of the pants for you. I feel better now. Okay, next one is Dune Part 2 flops. Did Dune Part 2 come out? No, Dune Part no, 2 is didn't. definitely not out yet. Okay. And I don't know in what world, this girl must have been fucking Delulu to think that Dune Part 2 is coming out anytime soon. Taylor Swift's cat Meredith passes away. She is still with us. <laughs> she is still with us, thank God. God rest her, no, not God, do not rest her soul. <laughs> God, uh, uh, bless her. God, do whatever you'd like. Okay, Emily Ratajkowski and Pete Davidson split. I forgot they were even together. I forgot they even dated too. Cause she also dated um, Andre Clemens is his name, I think. She, she did. Do you think that Pete Davidson like has like a, like an Apple's like notes somewhere of all of the women? I wish that he would do a 2023 dating wrapped. Like people people will make a slideshow on like their, you know, Spotify wrapped. They'll do like all the dates yeah. and like what percentage of like the time they ended it versus the the date ended it. Like, and Honestly, I, sounds like a, a quite the stats project. I would love to see an SNL Pete Davidson 2023 dating wrapped from him. 
but like the real one. The real one. See, now saying. that would be an OnlyFans piece of content that would that would crush. Yeah, for sure. Okay, the next one is new live action Disney princess remake announced. Oh, 2023. I guess this depends on what Snow they White. knew. Oh. Who's Snow White? But then it then got huh? like unannounced, no, right? Who is like, oh, who is oh, oh, who's, who's playing, playing her? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that we had um a serious a serious issue here. Um, Just because I don't think that I can wear a pant doesn't yeah. mean you I'm not Snow familiar White with Snow White. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the but Snow White out of all the Disney stories. Rachel Ziegler, you guys don't know all the Snow White drama. Yeah, there was major Snow White drama. But can we just talk? Snow White probably one of the least thought through concepts. Oh yeah, Rachel in Disney Ziegler. history. Kristen Stewart is also in this. Oh, huh. so but is she not anymore? Oh my God, Avril Lavigne, huh? A Canadian queen. Gal Gadot. Wow. What? 2025. Okay. Well. Yeah. What was the, what was the, uh, what was the controversy here? People are really mean to her, honestly. Like everyone just loves to hate this girl for some reason. I'm not sure. Cause she's had a couple like cringy red carpet moments. Um, oh, well, I mean, she deserves to be tarred and fucking feathered then. Yeah. What is it people like uh, being mean about people's like, why did we go back to it being okay to be mean about people's looks again? Oh my God. Also, she's a child. She's 22. Right. Why are we being mean? Uh, she was also in Paddington in Peru, which is upcoming. Wow. Looking forward to Love that. Love that. She was in the Hunger Games. Hunger I Games? she's like the star. Big fan of, of that. Hunger Games. Wow. There's new Hunger Games? Oh, what Jeremy. do you mean? You gotta let him out of the house, Lauren. Oh my God. This is self-inflicted. I want everyone to know this is self-inflicted on Jeremy's I gotta behalf. Be honest, I'll get around to wearing a pant before I go to see the next three Hunger Games. Really? Oh yes. my God, I love Hunger Games. I read all those books. I'm gonna look great in my pant. All right, Demi Lovato says something racist. I don't think so, did she? Um, I, think I don't think so I either. Think clear. I clear. Yeah, I think we're clear. Okay, and if so, um, let us know. Uh, but also maybe forgive her. All right, either Paul McCartney or Bruce Springsteen dies, but not Damn, both. Damn, a lot of death They're on both this person's with us. bingo card. How is um, Bruce Springsteen and Barack Obama's I... podcast doing? Yes, they had a podcast. What? what? <laughs> Look it up. Okay, while well, you guys are so busy with all this shit, I'm over here looking at the huh? market. They had a podcast. Look it up. Bruce Springsteen I'm almost, and Obama. I'm almost, I'm almost 50% positive. What? Yeah, it's called Renegades, born in the USA. They wow. do have, yeah, they they did the thing. That's kind of like TikTok coded, calling it Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you found a way to like bring it back. All right, anyway, uh, Kriv, Kardashian pregnancy, Jenner's count. Oh, oh, saying that like, I mean, frick, I feel like they're just pumping out babies at all times with surrogates and did also have, natural ones. Have, I don't know. Yeah, I think- Did they have a child? I think Courtney. Courtney is pregnant. Yeah. Man, I really never got on the Kardashian bandwagon. Like, I've just never watched an episode of- Ever? No, no. Oh, it's pretty funny. I, I've. What's funny is I've seen like like segments later on. Yeah. Now it's pretty. Funny. I think Kendall and Kylie are fucking funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that they've got like fully formed frontal cortexes too, like they're they're, yeah. they're very funny. They're fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump dead. Gotta gotta tell you. Um, I'll keep my mouth shut Biden, on this one. Biden and Trump both kicking. Free space. Love that. Oh my god! Who announces new global health emergency? Gotta, gotta be honest. The canine respiratory thing. Is that? That's a global health emergency. The world health organization. Do they do canine too? They should. Okay. <laughs> the it should be the 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 Kehu, the yeah. world no the what the the Wukaho? the global world canine K the the the. G Are you just not gonna call it that? I just said K for canine and supposed to C because I spelled canine with a K in my yeah, head for a moment no, there. Yeah, no, I glazed over it and I was like, ooh. I, oh boy. Megan Fox dumps MGK. They're back together. I think they are back together, but they definitely broke up for a hot second. I think. Right? Yeah, that's why I put half a slash. Yeah, half a slash. Yeah, that deserves did, half a slash. Like she did break up with him, right? And now I, they're I back think together. so. Yeah, now they're back I feel together. Like maybe it can get a whole one. Out of curiosity, if you could run away into the sunset with Pete Davidson or MGK, which one would you pick? Oh my God, no questions, Pete Davidson. How about high school, Lauren? Still Pete Davidson. Okay. Pete Davidson also is so fucking funny. MGK seems less. And. Massive dong. Okay, Tom Felton and Emma Watson spotted on a date. That would be wild. But I feel like- Malfoy and oh, Hermione. Tom Felton. Yeah, no. no. That would be crazy. I feel like Tom Felton- The Potterheads would lose their fucking mind. Become quite Yeah, but it would, it, we're not ready for that. Okay. Right. Um, John Mayer makes public statement following Speak Now TV. What? What? I, I think I might be missing some context here. 
Yeah, you guys don't get it. He didn't, though. <laughs> <laughs> George R. R. Martin dies. He cannot die yet. It, oh, I, yeah, I, no, no, no. He is not allowed to die. I, like, I'm convinced that there are, there are contracts that yeah. he has signed that prevent him mm -hmm. from leaving this earth until at least one more book this is This bingo card is so incredibly morbid, it's crazy. Yeah, no, they need to, they need to get out more. Okay, w World War III scare? That happened. Nailed it. Yeah, that happened for sure. <laughs> we've for we've sure nearly happened. moved on to World War IV. No, that's for sure. New Star Wars trilogy announced. Actually, I think it's the antithesis of that. I'm pretty sure Bob Iger just put like the big old kibosh on anything new. Okay. Uh, Britney Spears makes an OnlyFans. Uh, no, but close. She gave it away for free. Uh, I did a book. Right. So close. Elon Musk Twitter purchase is a success after all. Well, <laughs> he's got two more weeks to prove that correct. Because right now it's not looking great. No. It, right now it's looking like the world's most Hated largest- platform. It's looking like the world's largest write-off. Uh, Jojo Siwa drug scandal, false. She's better than ever, somehow. Uh, another JK Rowling, <laughs> Rowling scandal. I don't think so, but I do feel like that Harry Potter uh, franchise is not doing great with their leaning No, it's a cross through. What's yeah, the it new happened. one? It happened with the video game. Oh, what did she say what again? What happened now? She, like, yeah. The transgender comments That's about- right. That was this year? Yeah, that was this year. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yes. Oh shit, wow. Uh, speak now, Taylor's version. What? You, uh, it happened, get... it happened. Wait, show, by the way, I noticed that you didn't put an invite in our calendar for so, your Taylor Swift karaoke night that's coming up. Um, and we, I saw that on your close friends, which makes me feel like that's that's targeted for people that are that are that are close friends. So, anyways, this person was saying they thought Taylor was going to release her album "Speak Now" that Taylor's she would own, re-record. Did in fact have you guys talked it. about the fact that like one of you likes Taylor Swift and one of you does not? I actually like firmly believe that I've got two years and then I'll get Lauren on board. Okay. Because I think deep down inside, she has it in her, <laughs> but she's just in denial. Mm. And I get it. Like once you've committed to that stance, you don't want to like walk it back. That's embarrassing. But don't <laughs> worry, Lauren, we'll be here when you're ready. So wait, do you think the Swifties would like accept her back with open arms? Oh, totally. You totally. think? Yeah. Also, yeah, I yeah, make yeah, the yeah. world's best fucking beaded friendship bracelets. Like I could, I feel like I could do yeah, it. She's I would be, so, I would do Lauren well. is so aligned. Like. You know what's funny? I think if we just made like Lauren, like the challenge where like, if she just did a week of Taylor Swift crafts and she got through it, then we would never ask her to do it again. Listen, if she rescued a dog, that would get me halfway there. Okay. I think if I gave Lauren like <laughs> a, if, I think if we scheduled like a hour, 30 minute PowerPoint on the lore of Taylor Swift, Lauren would buy it. There's actually one Hold album. On. Hang on, the hang on, lore? hang on, hang on. <laughs> there's, a, there's one album that I did actually like. That's not the best way to tee that up for. Hang on, uh, Renee Rapp is accidentally playing, please hold. Um, um, Yo, while you're on this, there's this new artist I want you to check out. Her name is Tate. <laughs> Tate. <laughs> uh. I think it's Reputation. Yeah. Oh, Lauren, that one's gonna come yeah, out Honestly, I, I, just, that one's I just heard- That one's gonna come out soon, the re-release. I, I literally just heard what I sound like when I say something that everyone already knows into the microphone. Like, I think it was Reputation. And I'm like, I feel like that's a thing that, that you're supposed to already, like, already know or not at this point. And it sounded boomery. Um, no, because I'm not a hundred percent positive, but I be think. Be a reputation. Be a reputation. Be a reputation. I think be a reputation. It's... right, show. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm invited. Yeah, yeah, you're invited to the karaoke party. Yeah, totally. Okay, because weird, because I noticed you didn't have a, a two-year <laughs> arc for me. Oh, I, I feel like you'd be like a day. Okay. I think I can get your buy-in. I'm not. I think you're more aligned. Well, I don't think it's. You guys, I don't know. We're we're on different sides of the, the table. Okay, here. I also I do enjoy Out of the Woods from 1989. Okay, slay, let's go. <laughs> One down. <laughs> I'll be out of the woods. I'll be out. Moving on. So, are we gonna make a bingo card? We're gonna make a bingo card, but let's talk about how close this person got okay. to getting bingo. Oh, they Ooh. did get a bingo. Okay, so oh this, no, they. Oh, Biden would have had to die to get a bingo. Is, okay, so this person is. One dead president away from having bingo, which is pretty fucking impressive. Yeah, honestly, that that is quite impressive. But okay, so if we make this, we have to make come up with twenty five. Holy shit! We'll do it together. Okay, let's uh, do it. Also, there's like twenty days left of December, right? It's still possible they get bingo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, okay, so I think we should break some things down into categories, and then we can let's do five categories. Five categories. Five categories. Let's One. do um, a Jeremy category. Okay. A Lauren category, okay. a Moose and Dickie category, okay. a pop culture category, yep. and a miscellaneous uh, category. 
miscellaneous slash unhinged. Unhinged, slash, yeah, that can be whatever. What like uh 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 it's a uh, moonshot bets. The ones that like probably won't come true, but if it did, holy shit. Yeah. Let's start with me. Okay, let's start with you. One, I will. I think Jeremy is going to tear up as I walk down the aisle. Even though we've done our first look, I still think that I, the moment. I I know the song that I would like specifically yeah. to be playing at that moment. What song? I'm going to show you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so assuming we can like get the moment right, I think it'll be nearly impossible for me not to. That is so nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, are you, are you familiar with Get Low by Lil Jon? Yeah. Yeah, that'll be. John again, low, low. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, that. Apple no, that, jeans. that's. Oh, that's a. <laughs> that's, that's a flow rider. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? You're this right. Is, Let's um, just go Ying, Ying Yang Twins, uh, and that'll be great. Uh, to the window. The whistle to song. To the wall. Let's do the whistle song. Sweat drip down okay. him. Okay. Let's do a Lauren. Okay, Lauren. Um, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren will uh, cry. The very first time she cries at the wedding will be the first involvement of the dogs. You think that'll be my first cry? Yeah. I also, I feel like need to try so hard to not cry because I will have spent so much time in makeup. And when I cry, my nose gets beat red at the tip, no matter how much makeup I have on. But you're not gonna be able to see bubbies. Indigo. Yeah, but like, I think there's a level of like, you raised bubbies from like, Little little hamster, hamster to now, <laughs> hamster. and little hamster, it, it, like his mom's getting married. Yeah, little hamster at the wedding. Yeah, like Diggy's adorable, of course, like obviously. But yeah. there's something about like before me, there was where was there you was moose. Bubbies, even yeah, though he is right. my biological son. Yes, yes, right? of course, of course. I just course. think there's like a level of like I remember what it was like when like my mom got married, and I feel like there's an emotional connection with like right. the families. Like you were there first. Yes, like bubbies. It, yeah. It's my job to remember that moose was there first, mm -hmm. despite the fact that I am his biological father. Yes, right. Hmm. Yes. That. Yeah, yeah. That, okay. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that maybe, maybe. So yeah. you think that my first tears will be when I, I just think Okay, that fine. No, no. Lauren's, um, Lauren will cry interacting at some point with the dogs. Okay. Whether okay. it's the first one or not. Yeah. That, okay. That's okay. That. Yeah. So take that. Lauren will cry with animal related or moose related or, or pups related. Interaction. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to be a fucking mess all day. I think it's gonna be tough. I think it's gonna be, uh, yeah. I think it's gonna be a lot of that all day. You have that fucking fan. I know I'm gonna have my fan. Um, okay, let's go. Should we do? Should we do a a pup one? I think one of the dogs will poop somewhere inappropriate at the wedding. That will be funny, but inappropriate. Mm, that's not a that's not a so far out crazy bet that I that that's. Pretty, I think that we can cross that one. Plausible. I think that one. Yeah, that sounds for sure plausible. And it's for sure moose. It's for sure moose. Moose likes to like. He get excited and poop immediately. He gets, he gets, he gets, he gets excited IBS. poops. He has IBS. And honestly, that's Same. very on, on par with what you would expect. He, he is my son, truly. Okay, uh, fourth you. was. Oh, you want to go? Okay, we're gonna make this really confusing for ourselves. No, for, what was the fourth Okay, one? fourth was uh, like pop culture. Ooh, I think, ooh man, I probably am not qualified for this. <laughs> um, Think of a musician, mm. an actor. Ooh, I was gonna I know. Tate McRae. I know Bruno Mars will once again be one of the best performing artists. No, fine. Okay, you're, you're right. Tate McRae, Tate McRae will be number one on Billboard next year. She like basically already is. You can't, that's not, that's not a good one. How, guess how many Grammys she'll win? Next year? Yeah. Two. Okay, Tate McRae, two Grammys. I feel good about two. Okay. Is she up for two? I don't know. I forgot which ones that I, I rallied around on the live um, community fan chat that we did together. Love that for you. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Okay, something unhinged. I think I think that we're gonna dig up an actual alien. Like I think like those weird little aliens that they had in court that, that were like very much kind of debunked. I feel like a real alien situation is gonna happen. You think. <laughs> so I have to have a, a fucking bingo card with you that has of all the, every year an since- An alien situation. Every, every year since ever, there's been an alien coming soon yeah and you want to make next year the year yes okay i feel like we got so close this year with those little guys in the little the little caskets yes those little guys I'm, thr I'm thrilled for our, our odds here okay yeah. going back to me back to you i think that you will get mm. a job in ai <sighs> too easy but fine okay i think <laughs> you Hmm. 
We'll take couch naps. No, I think you will. Yeah, I'm gonna take a fucking couch nap today. Think, what do you mean? I think you. Mm-hmm. I think you also will start a new venture. Okay. That is different from anyone you've already done before, but it's an expansion on. So it's like I think you'll start it like a mm-hmm. a, a new mm-hmm. new thing. A brand. New brand. New project. New whatever the fuck. Okay. That's new. Okay. Like you're going to take <laughs> you're going to take a career risk. Okay. Next year. Okay. Career risk. New brand. Career, I don't say new, Lauren will take, take will we'll launch a new venture. Uh-huh. Like n- brand new. Okay. 2024. Okay. Something like new. I think Diggy is going to learn how to give a paw. <laughs> me too, me too. So me too. wait, Diggy's going to be able to shake on command? Yeah, I think Diggy is going to learn how to do paw. Okay. He just offers paw up so much that I think that we could do it. I think if we spent a couple days, I think we could get there. Okay. I think- Couple weeks. Um, Couple I, months, maybe. My pop culture guess. Yeah. I think Remy will wake up one day, mm-hmm. one day for no reason, start become very stressed about her wedding. <laughs> because she's so chill right now. It's like freakish. It's, it's freaking yeah. me out. Yeah, it's And freakish. one day for no apparent reason. Right. She wakes up and she's, she's gonna wake up and, and she go, catatonic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it'll be fine that's, okay. because Remy knows, she'll know what to do. Right, 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 right. But right, I, I feel right, that for right, her. Right, right, right. I feel that chaos, sadly, for her. Uh-huh. For no specific or, or, or specific, specific. Whoa. For no specific reason. Okay, we need something unhinged. Let's do something. Someone, something, or someone gets canceled. A brand. What about something like so fucking random? Like Chick Fil A customer finds a beak. <laughs> Between that and aliens, it's like you don't want us to win. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying, cause I just feel like we, like Diggy can learn how to give a paw. Like you're probably gonna cry at the wedding. So like, let's throw some crazy shit in here. Okay, um, great, love that. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna Back get- Back to you. Jeremy will get, we'll have a six pack. No, you can get a six pack in like two days. No, I know, I'll have them for the yeah, wedding. Yeah, poop That's a few putting, times and you get no, a six pack. No, I just wanna be able in a year to be able to talk about this. Yeah, so <laughs> Jeremy will have a six pack. So you just have to have had one at one point, right? Like you don't have to have one at the end of the no, year. No, my fuck no. Don't make me fucking carry yeah, this thing yeah. at the end. No, okay, no, no. Okay, Jeremy yeah. will at one point in time, yeah. throughout the 365 days, be able to make out six individual abs. <laughs> to, to, and by the way, not, they might not be impressive mm-hmm, and they might need mm-hmm. to be in the right light, but mm-hmm. there will be six of them and you could see them. Okay, all right. Um, Man, I can't wait to fucking disappoint myself on that one. Yeah, that'll be tough. What about me? What about me? Lauren's dump truck ass yeah. will look better than ever as she walks down the aisle. Hopefully, because my dress be tight. Lauren will, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey, show, I just want to see how you're going <laughs> to word this. So hey, no, no, Lauren we'll, 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 hey, will. I'll, I'll, you type and I'll read, go ahead. <laughs> Lauren will. Will. Um, no, in, floor zero show. Will, um, but Lauren will grow. Mm, a, interesting. An even, even. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Welcome to be the guy. Better. <laughs> nope, it's not better. It's not better or worse. Well, it, even, it also, an even. It'd be uh, an even, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> an even. Um, mm, more, how the tides have turned. More desired in, in her own eyes only. Mm. Because hashtag self love. In her own eyes only. Um, mm. Weird. What about uh, Lauren just gets a, a thickier, fattier, P H A T T I E R S? Great. <laughs> oh, God. Thickier, fat. Fatty. P H yeah. P H. Yeah, P H, oh. obviously. Fattier. Yep. Ass. Great. <laughs> Guys, I just want everyone to know that I do have the most mediocre ass in the entire world. So, like, uh, you this do is- not. <laughs> Take it back. Okay, I take it back. Great. I think this one is Donna. Okay. This, will, so this is the dog category, but go ahead. It's fine. Donna will be the life of the party with the gays at the wedding. I oh, can I can't it. wait. I love that for I her. I could feel it. I thought you were going to say Donna's going to find a man. Let's not get carried away. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, back to- every single, I got to be honest. When, when, when my mother left the engagement party, mm-hmm. the only person she wanted to talk about was Eugene. Was Eugene, yeah. Only person. No, she is she a loved Eugene him. Lee Yang Stan. Stan. Fucking Stan. Big time. Literally, like, are, would you send me a link to his, his, um, <laughs> his, uh, what are you, his streaming? He just uploaded a, his um, streaming platform? him doing an obstacle course super high. I think Donna would love that. Honestly, we could break down so many stigmas if Donna would just regularly consume Eugene's content. You're so right. Yeah, we'll yeah. get there. You, watching Eugene content heals. I get it. 
Heals all. Okay, uh, dog. I think that Diggo. Think that Bubby mm. will. I think Moose gonna make money next year. You think Moose gonna make money? I think Moose gonna, gonna get make... a brand deal. Yeah. Moose, Moose gonna get a brand deal? Yeah. No, how about Diggo gets his first brand deal? Moose, maybe Moose or Diggy. Well, it's a joint account, so. Okay. Yeah, but Diggo gets okay, his Diggo, first brand deal. First brand deal, yeah, yeah. 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 Cause we, I feel like we describe, when we describe Diggy, he doesn't have, sound as productive as Moose. Well, Moose is just so chill and malleable. He will let me put sunglasses on his face and he'll sit there yeah. and pose. Cause, he, cause re, truly, cause all he does is want to sit anyways. But like he is the most ideal photogenic model dog. And Diggy? And Diggo just doesn't know how to stay. Diggo know how to sit, but Diggo don't, don't know how to stay. Diggo can sit. I don't know if Diggo knows how to sit. Okay. Diggo knows how to sit. Next one, I got a good one. Jeremy? is going to have more of an outdoorsy year than I've had in the last five years combined. Whoa, bold. No, we need, we need, um, sorry, more specific. Yeah. It's like Jeremy goes on three hikes. Sure. Jeremy will, will hike a minimum of three times. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. It just, we just have to hit three though. So Jeremy goes on three hikes. Oh my God. Who I the fuck is this? I went on one hike this year. Did you? Yes. With who? Your parents. Are you sure? That might've been last year. Fuck. That was last year for sure. Cause that's when we first got Diggo. I think that was last Christmas. That All right, we went well then I'm night. gonna fucking really pick it up this year then. Okay. Okay, Lauren. <laughs> um, okay, let's do, let's do like a celebrity pairing of, I think that Connor Woods and Brooke Averick start dating. Really? I, I would just love that for me. That's so fan fiction of you. I know. And so wildly inappropriate as well. I love it. <laughs> I, there are very few people who I find who do skits hilarious. Mm -hmm. Connor's all of them. Oh my God, he's so funny. All of them. Um, do we want someone to get canceled or like a brand? Yes, Lauren will get canceled. No, 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 no. no. Okay, got it. No. Um, Lauren, uh, you, you. I will. Start an OnlyFans. No. Start a, start a premium feat subscription. No, no, no. Start. You know, there is a price though that I would I would do that for. Write it down. <laughs> Lauren will sell one foot picture. <laughs> Lauren, Lauren DIY cameo, uh, fee picks only. Fee picks only. What, what would the dollar amount be? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. Okay. Yeah. Well, listen, if there's ever been an opportunity for you to make your offer. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, oh, I know. One of the companies we've invested in will not go out of business. So we just, all it has to do is not go out of business. One, no, like it, one, of the, no, one of the companies will- Sell or go public? I think that one of the companies that we own uh, like, a, a, like a real investment in sure. like early on yeah. will uh, have a liquidity event, have, whether okay. it's acquisition. Okay, okay. Yeah. have a liquidity event. That's yes. good, that's good, that's good. That would really, be really nice. Really liquidity event is the words we want to use for this? Yeah, because it can either IPO or sell, I don't know. Well, I don't know if there any of them are gonna be IPOing, but that would be great if they did. I, that's what I'm saying though, liquidity event. Well, if they do, you'll know that this podcast was fun while it lasted and we're out of here. Um. Okay, what do we need now? Um, um, pop uh, culture? A pop, pop, pop culture? Pop, oh, that's <laughs> a great name for a merch brand. Pop culture? Yeah. Fuck, that is really good. Do we cut, do we bleep that out? I think we have to bleep that up so that just in case I need to use it for something. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that someone's made pop culture before. Um, okay, uh, go ahead. Um, 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 Diggy does a brand deal. Oh, so we need something unhinged. I've been really providing all the unhinged ones. I think we're gonna have our first case of something creepy weird that happens when someone tries to, to crisper Someone's oh, genetics. Jesus Christ. Okay, so a CRISPR catastrophe? Gonna, like our first like natural born alien. Oh man. Yeah, I think we're gonna have our CRISPR catastrophe. CRISP, crisp catastrophe. Okay. Ooh, I have one, I have one, I have one. I think that someone that we know mm. is going to get one of those neural link things put in. Next year? Yeah. No, that's not, not for many years. You don't think? No. I think someone will get a, a neural that's link not, of some kind. I don't think that's anywhere near FDA approved. No, it doesn't have to be the FDA approved for someone to be down with that though. I think that someone we know will get something embedded into their brain. Hot take, okay. Put it on the card. Well, uh, why, why not, maybe, they not just Neuralink, why don't we say- um, um, A brain bio, chip? Bio-enhancement. Okay, bio-enhancement. <laughs> it's biohacking. Because <laughs> we, I feel like we don't know how much longer Elon's going to be His, in a position yeah, to be leading these companies. So right. 
We don't know. Okay, um, another Jeremy one. We need one more Jeremy one. I think Jeremy is gonna try a new hairstyle next year. You are fucking wild, man. <laughs> I just, the, the thought of waking up one day and going, this will never do. I must, I must change this now. Let, let me go through that fucking, just no fucking chance. Well, I feel like you've really mastered the one that you have now. I, I would say it's at this point, just it, it's like the, the default yeah. versus I've mastered it. In fact, I think my, my standards have sure. just really fallen off a, a, okay. a cliff, to be honest. Sure. Okay. I think, Lauren, we'll go back to being fucking blonde. <laughs> Post wedding. I get so many questions on whether I'm going to be blonde for the wedding. I think you're going to be fucking blonde. No, I think you'll be dark hair for the wedding, but I think you'll be blonde. Yeah, I'll be, darker, I'll be dark hair for the wedding for sure. <sighs> I'm already sad. <laughs> oh, God, I literally almost caught my own bangs the other day. See, that's the kind of fucking thing that I, I would just wait. I, go, I would call your mom. I go, it's happening. It's happening. Something's happening. It's happening. And I don't know what it is, but I think, I think you should get out here right now. Um, I think that a close friend will get pregnant. Oh, like a close friend. Mm -hmm. I think I think we'll have our first close friend get pregnant. I think 2024 will be the fall of Disney. Ooh. The fall, the beginning of the end for Disney. We got invited on two Disney brand trips these past couple months. I think 2024 is gonna be one of the best years for Disney. <laughs> Maybe ever. Uh, no, I think it won't, it won't be like, oh, it's like not going away. Mm -hmm. I just think that the the empire that mm -hmm. we've known mm -hmm. and the rest, mm -hmm. of, I think it's, I think it peaked. Where does Pixar fall into that though? Cause I'm a really big Pixar fan. Uh, same place that, that ESPN does. Like they'll start divesting things like crazy if they need to. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think that. Yes. I'm gonna do TV again. Hmm. In, 20, in 2024. Oh fuck, maybe not in 2024. Cause that means I would have to shoot. I'd have I'd to say shoot. that you're gonna book it maybe. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna book a TV thing. What did you, okay, by the way, what did you think my Lauren will have a new venture thing was gonna be, but it's fine. I don't know, pop collective. I get, true. Pop, pop culture, I mean. Pop collective, <laughs> patent pending. Yeah. <laughs> I, this is such a fucking unhinged, stupid list that's never gonna actually get us a bingo, but I am excited about some of them. I can't wait to see my six pack. I can't wait for the beak to get found in a chafe I will be waiting every day on one of those Instagram accounts called like, what's that one, puberty? Or what on that has like random fucking headlines. Yep. That's the one today that I learned that the guy feeding the alligator a bagel got arrested, that it was illegal in Florida today. That's where I learned that. My favorite are all the um, old uh, like legacy crypto NFT accounts that, yeah. have, that have now started to come back on the scene just quietly yeah. and just be like news channels. Mm -hmm. And everyone's like, go mm -hmm. fuck yourself. Yeah, no, no, time, time to go. I'm everyone. Yeah. I'm everyone. Mm -hmm. I think our diagonal this way is looking really realistic. Ooh, okay, so babe, read those five. If we go diagonal from top left to bottom so right. So that would be Jeremy will cry as Lauren walks down the aisle. Definitely. Could happen. Okay. Remy will get really stressed out about wedding planning. Also, yes, I think Free so Free space, well. nailing that one. Yeah. Connor and Brooke start dating is our fucking outlier. Ooh. I think there's a better chance that you book TV than they start dating. <laughs> so they really Fuck. are, they really are a sticking point. Fuck. Okay, okay. I just don't, I wish that we we could know if there was like a uh, uh, a, a one-off hookup that, that, oh, that the public doesn't announce. Yeah. I know. Nice. No, not that they, they had, they need to have it. I know. We don't want them to have already hooked up. No. In fact, you could text them right now and be like, hey. No, 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 they could have hooked up. They just need to start revisit. dating. Yeah, they need revisit. to revisit. Yeah, yeah okay. exactly. This is unhinged. This is, this is, and in fact, the fact that this is like the, the thoughts for what we have for the coming year just goes to show that you don't have to have a plan. And also this is, I think, a good representation of my mental state at the end of 2023. Beaks in Chick-fil-A. Only up from here. <laughs> Only up from here. Um, thanks wow. for kicking it with us in what 2023. What a way to start the day in if, 2024. By the way, if there are any things that you feel like we should um, discuss or try and make happen, feel free to sound off. We probably won't do much of them, but I do want to hear them. If Jeremy gets on one hike, we can just call the year a success. I would love to hear what people think Lauren should be doing with their life. <laughs> you said the hike one. No, I think, I, no, I'm down. I think I can do this. Okay, all right. I love a good view. You do I just love don't a good like view. the trek to get there. Right, you just don't like the actual like hike part. <laughs> so that is the whole thing. Fuck, I wish that we had made space for one, Wild Till Nine hits the road for one show. Oh. oh. We're gonna have to put it in, we're take, putting it. Take Lauren does, does new venture thing out because you put a TV okay. thing in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, okay, put, okay. and put Wild Till Nine does live show. Oh God. Oh fuck. 
Latvia, Scary. we're coming for you. Oh God. Uh-huh. Riga. Riga, Latvia, I think. All right, J G A. Yes. Wow. Great job. Thank you. When um, you talk about Latvia as much as you do, you should see my DMs. Wow, I love that for you, babe. Latvian filled. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. We will welcome to 2024 and uh, we'll see you next week.